Uh, I'm Doug Eggleston, Emergency Service Director for this chapter. Uh, one of my jobs is to deal with all of the local disasters that occur within the Region 2000 area. And we'd like to welcome you here to our chapter house. Uh, glad we could help facilitate uh, for this meeting for you today. Uh, oftentimes, most of our clients do not have insurance. 85 to 90 percent of our clients, in fact, do not have insurance. So it makes it very difficult for us to work with them and try to get them back into the recovery stage. Um, right in this area, uh, the biggest portion of disasters that we deal with are those house fires and apartment fires. And so uh, we send teams, we call disaster action teams, out into the, to the area within 30 minutes of getting called and they can provide direct services right there on the spot for the clients. Uh, in cases where they do have insurance, those people are going to recover very well uh, because you folks are going to step in and help them out pretty quickly. And in cases where they don't, it takes these folks a lot of time to get back on their feet if they ever get back on their feet again. And certainly when we provide them with assistance, it's what we call emergency need assistance. Place to stay for a few nights, uh, a couple of changes of clothes, and some food to eat. Beyond that, we have to do referrals out into the community. So. Uh, once again, for some of you that were in here before you heard me say this, I encourage you to try to sell renter's insurance really big time, okay? Because <laughs> that's where we really run into our problems is with the renters that think the landlords cover their needs when there's an accident or a fire or something like that. Yes. Um, how long do y'all put people up? How many nights? We start with three nights. It's a, it's a purpose behind that. Number one, it's, it's a financial thing we look at to make equitable services for all of our clients. Number two, it forces them to look forward because what we try to do from the very beginning when we're meeting with these folks is to get them to realize, yes, they've gone through a traumatic experience, it's tough on them, but they've got to start looking towards tomorrow because it's coming and they've got to start moving in their own direction. Our, our philosophy is it's ultimately up to the client to make their own recovery. We do everything we can to help them. We provide them with a lot of referrals to other local agencies that may offer things different than what we do or in addition to what we do without duplicating the same service in the area. But three days is the, is the general rule. We find most people can make other arrangements within that time. Those that can't can come back to us and we'll work something out, try to help them out with those additional days that they may need. They come back and say, you know, we had a fire on Friday, we haven't been able to locate a place over the weekend, we might extend them for a few days. I do get a little teeny bit of FEMA money every year which allows me to extend dates for them. We extend rooms for them for a few nights. Okay. Welcome again. Hope you have a good class. <laughs>